Welcome to this week's Yep Yeah Yes with Tamika and Marissa. I'm Marissa. That's Tamika. Tamika, how you doing? Oh, all right. Best, festive, you know, it's holiday season. Um, this week I want to talk about uh, Christmas and Corona. Oh, holidays, holidays. Should we say holidays? No, because there's already a so-called attack on Christmas. Christmas is a less than a week away. We should be able to say Christmas. Okay. Christmas and Corona. Not the beverage. Although the beverage is pretty good. Oh, there's nothing. I, I've told you this a thousand times. Christmas doesn't mean Christmas to me unless there's a skinny Santa holding a can of Budweiser on a flatbed truck going around the neighborhood to, to give holiday cheer to children while salsa music is playing. Just saying. What's the name of that song? Um, Christmas just ain't Christmas without a beer can. <laughs> Listen, somebody better take that and make it into a hit. <laughs> I, I hear something ball is on that one. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Well, listen, I said to you before offline, your skin looks amazing. The hair looks amazing. I'm on location from a secret spot. Yes. With your festive background. Festive background. I oh. love it. Stocking. But I just noticed there's a gift in there, and that's my stocking. Oh, Santa why came early. Just, why don't it just be crumpled up wrapping paper to make it look full? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. You know what I was thinking the other day? You're talking about, like, you know, making things look funny. Um, I was full. thinking about, like, what? It full. Did it say funny? Full. Yeah. Oh, what did I say? You said talking to things that make you look funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Funny things. I was thinking of something funny, talking about, oh, my Lord. Anyway. See what ahead. happens? I think I have ADHD. Anyway, do you have, have you ever had a household when you were little that had the bowl of fruit and you went to grab a grape, you pop that bitch in your mouth, waiting for like this refreshing delicious hydrating grape and it was a plastic no because i don't trust mofos if they clean their veggies i ain't gonna oh. go up in their bowl and start eating i'd be looking is it dusty then you pick it up like shit I, and you ask it's like that ain't real it's like okay then and then they mm -hmm. say i got some in the fridge you know but i don't really you know i don't trust people like that you know even as a kid no <laughs> no and I've, I've come across a lot of bowls of fruit on the table as a kid. Oh, that happened to me once at my aunt's house. You gotta clean I it. I went to go, what? You gotta clean it. If it's sitting on the table, you don't just. But you're like six or seven and you don't know. You don't think about those things. I grabbed a grape and I threw it in my mouth and it was plastic. And I was like, oh, anyway. that, I'm so scarred. That taste, I, I have a visceral reaction thinking about it. Man. So I told you a little bit about what Christmas means to me. You know, palm trees, skinny Santa holding a can of uh, Budweiser on a flatbed truck with salsa playing to okay. spread holiday cheer. Right. Um, roasted pork. Okay. Alcapurrias, which is like, you know, like street food. Well, not street food. It's, it's like hand food. Like, um, uh, food? my mouth is watering. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like a main meal or a side dish. I wouldn't even call it an appetizer. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, some sort of rice thing. Um, but this year, for some reason this year, I'm very like blah about Christmas okay. because I just like, I don't trust it. This year, I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust this year. And like, I know Christmas is going to be Christmas, but it's like, what don't mm, you trust about it? I don't know. I'm waiting for a shoe to drop. I feel like, so right when like this year, just, it's just 2020, right when you think it's done, this bitch turns around and be like, and one more thing. Hmm. I don't trust it. We still, still got two weeks left of the year. So you never know. And what do you think? I love those. Um, do you see that commercial with, um, it was, it, um, 
I don't know what Ryan Reynolds posted it on his um Instagram. I think it's a, a commercial for a dating app and it's Satan and he's dating years. Oh and yeah. He, and he finally meets 2020. <laughs> That's really funny. It's it's it's, it's tough. But it's like it, it kind of wraps up 2020 in a way. It really does. What do you think next year's gonna be like? I don't I can't even think about next year. Like I'm not, I'm not even, I have, I'm not even thinking about like, the only thing that I think about is like, all right, am I going to be able to like catch up on my bills? That's the kind of thing that I'm thinking. Yes. But it's not even like next year. It's just like whether next year is two weeks or if it was five months away. It's just like, I can't <coughs> focus on uh, resolutions, things like, like, I just want to pay. I hate being resolution yeah right. i need to pay a bill but i think the one thing though for me with with christmas like when i think when i think about christmas i think about just like family waking up we all open gifts and you know open up each other's gifts and there's usually like a gag gift like somebody will wrap up something in like a box that has nothing to do with what the gift was like last <laughs> yeah. my cousin um she put my uncle's dusty ass lunch cooler he wrapped it up and he was like oh my god i got a new cooler and everybody's laughing hysterically because he's got bad vision he, <laughs> he didn't realize it was his old cooler that been sitting outside on the porch and so then he was like oh, <laughs> oh man but, but the regular gifts were like she would bring it out of her bedroom. Oh, okay, Take okay. The box from the real gift and put right. the old gift, like puts like you buy you get some new shoes and you uh -huh. put the old Adidas in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they she was doing that with everybody, but the cooler was the funniest thing because he really didn't didn't see it. So I like that. I like I'm gonna miss that this year because I'm not with my family this year. I'm with my yeah. mother, but yeah. Um, <laughs> the rest of my family so i'm gonna miss you know those gag gifts but um yeah not gag gifts but i know what you mean yeah um but usually christmas is just food family laughter you know yep so, but yeah I'm about like new year's anything like that and to be honest when it comes to christmas and covid it's like um I, like i'm a little bit of a hypocrite in the sense that like they keep saying don't visit family but i was like i'm going to, i'm gonna go visit my mother you know and i got on yeah. you know i'm here now i left you know i didn't like i think a lot of people are pro probably leaving like this weekend or in the next few days so, yeah so I, I beat that rush there was nobody sitting next to me on the plane so that was great um but you know, so in a way I feel like a hypocrite because you're not supposed to travel. You're not supposed to be around a bunch of people and that kind of thing. But I'm just, it's just me and my mom. So, you know, in a way that's okay. Um, yeah. But COVID, you know, is putting a dent in a lot of people's plans. But I don't think it's putting, when you look at some of the images that are coming out from different walks of life, it's like, it's not really putting a dent in people's lives, what you think. Like the biggest gift that is... um like, you know how, like, back when we were kids, it was, like, the Cabbage Patch doll? Yeah. Maybe something that is, like, the, what was it, the, the you know, Teletubbies? Wasn't it one year, one of those things? Yeah. So, like, this year, I feel like it's, like, the most expensive thing ever, which is the, the PS5. It's, like, people got PS5 money? I thought we was, like, going broke. We needed stimulus checks. I know. I, I don't get it. Companies are folding, furloughing people. Nobody has a job. I, I work with a lot of women and about four of their husbands have been laid off since March. Two of them found employment, mm -hmm. not at the same salary as they were, and two are still home. Um, the two that are still home, those, those women, the wives, uh, partners, I don't know if they're married, um, the partners, are just glad that they have a job because they're able to like carry them, you know, the house, mm -hmm. not to the extent that they were before, but still they're able to carry the house.
but PS5 money and people are like tripling the price with no problem. It, and it's sold out everywhere. I just, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> and this is what people that are broke. And then there's people that are not broke. They're like, then you see the people that like got the PPE money and they're like, instead of using it on businesses, they're using it on like their lifestyle. So they're having a good Christmas. Does Christmas mean that much to you to like, I don't, I don't know, to like, to, 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 to take from someone else or, or to make sure that your pocket's lined and not somebody else to, to, um, I don't know, finance a certain lifestyle. I hope that's rhetorical. Oh, of course it is rhetorical. Oh, no, I'm not I'm expecting you to answer. Like, no, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just can't imagine like having that kind of like mentality or life like as a as a CEO or, or CFO or COO where I'm making sure I get a bonus. Meanwhile, I just laid off 200 people. Like, you okay with that? Are you really okay with that? They obviously they are. There's a lot of people that just don't give a crap. Like I think about like so like the the our government, like government officials, White House, whatever, they're like throwing these holiday parties that are co they cost a lot of money. Meanwhile, people are just begging Congress to pass stimulus package, whether it be for unemployment, business, small businesses, individual um paychecks things like that and you just see all these people during the corona whether you even when you saw it, when there was no covid and you saw people like struggling and then celebrities government officials whoever rich people just throwing lavish parties and stuff but there's something about this year that makes it so seedy right like we i understand people got money and people living good but why do you have to flaunt it like I applaud, um, I can't remember her name. Um, what's her name? Uh, Jeff Bezos' wife, ex-wife. Oh, yes. And she donated $26.3 to various charities and organizations? No, $1.2 Not million, yeah. Are you sure? She, she, well, yeah, she, you said $26 million. She did, I thought it was she did 50 million alone to Morgan State University. She donated, donated 4.2 billion to charity this year. Damn. Four, so it's like, she might have a, a housekeeper, a chef and all this stuff, but she ain't showing us that. She gave, this is what, so I, I pulled up the list. She gave 40, she more than 40, to Feeding America food banks, 40 million to Goodwill, uh, uh, Goodwill Affiliates. I'm sorry, gave one, four, more than 40 gifts to Goodwill Affiliates, 30 member programs for Meals, and, Meals on Wheels, and she gave to the education institutions like New York's Lehman College and Morgan State University. All of this adding up to $4.2 billion. So it's yeah. like, Jeff, your move is next. You with your little girlfriend. One person mentioned though Jeff. that like, they're like Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. And it's like, she's the co-founder of Amazon. They co-founded it together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they never give, they, they're never going to refer to him as the ex-husband. It's always the ex-wife, no matter You know what? How I, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing that. I'm gonna start doing that. He's, he's, what's her name? That's what I'm saying. See, we, we fall and pray to it too. Cause we're like, let me, oh, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, uh, Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie? Mackenzie Scott. I'm gonna start doing, um, I'm like, I saw so, Marissa's husband. I love that. I'm not gonna say homeboy's name no more. So Mackenzie Scott's ex-husband, your move. Exactly. Your move. Let's see what you got going on. But you see stuff like that and then the juxtaposition between people that are not, like they're doing, like they might be given a charity, but they highlight the, the stuff for them over the char charitable. Case in point, my fave, 
Usually. My Bronx native, <laughs> my, wait, she's Trini and Dominican, uh, trilingual, oh, Kurt, <laughs> Miss Caddy B. This is, so what does she, what does she do? Should I spend 88000 for this damn purse? Oh my God, it's tempting. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So she, she tweeted, this is a tweet that she had. And people came for her, like, you're flaunting? Reacting to the backlash, Cardi reminded folks that she donates $1 million to coronavirus relief earlier this year, another million through fans through Cash App two months ago, as well as donating 20,000 meal supplements to New York medical workers. Also, I got seven uncles and three aunts on my daddy's side. Nine aunts and three uncles on my mama's side. A whole bunch of cousins had to help because of this pandemic. If y'all want, if I want to splurge, I can out. I can with, wait, if I want to splurge, I can without y'all. Oh, if I want to splurge, I can without y'all asking for handouts like me. And my husband don't do so. Thank you, she added. Why are you covering your mouth? That was a struggle on your part, I gotta say. That was it was the last part. I know was, she don't talk right, but she don't, don't talk the way that we talk. She talk right for her and hers. But the thing about somebody pointed out is that a lot of the donations were in conjunctions with companies. So right. I'm not sure that she gave it out of her pocket. Like right. if you, if you um, partner with Feeding America, right? Yeah. And then, but they donate on the money, but they're using you as a spokesperson to get the word. Yeah. So did what you donate? You donated time. She donated time and her voice. Yeah. And she does a, a partnership with Cash App. And she did it. She did that on the awesome commercial with Mackenzie Scott's ex-husband. Did she? She did. She did for that company that she co-founded for Mackenzie Scott's with, with Mackenzie Scott's ex-husband, that company they co-founded. Yes, she did for um, the app um, that they have. And she's like, and she's like, okay, okay. <laughs> I love that. Where she's the voice of Alexa. You just love it. I do. I love her. I love her. You know, listen, you know, I've been wanting to act forever. I started acting when I was 14. Ain't been in shit, but I love it. Crazy. Yeah. I, I don't know. And then I saw, I saw there's, there's, there's like the, there's a problem with, um, like a lot of rappers, not just her, but just in general, if you go on social media and you see rappers and they, like, they got, they spend the money on the foolish stuff. I never heard of this guy, but I'm going to show you like the headline from the hip hop magazine. Okay. So Houston rapper Sauce Walker debuts $250,000 diamond face implant following rant disparaging celebrity Julia, jeweler Elliot Eliante. Like, and why was he disparaging face implant? It's it's a piercing at his cheek. You know how they have it's it's a pear cut diamond, it's and crazy. you know how, and you know how some have like a tattoo, like a like yeah. a teardrop tattoo. That's where it is. But I mean, okay. It's then what? And then watch. It's gonna get infected and pop out. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like. Rapper Diamond Sauce, or Sauce Diamond, Sauce Walker, um, hospitalized <laughs> for necrotic <laughs> skin. Skin disease. <laughs> if that ain't 2021, I don't know what is. <laughs> it's crazy though. Like some of these, it's, so it's like when you see somebody like um, Mackenzie Walker, I keep wanting to say Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie Scott. And like I said, she she might have a diamond encrusted fingernail, but she ain't telling us about it. You know what I mean? I'm sure she got housekeepers and and cooks, chefs, and you know gardeners, all kinds. Like her place is probably ridiculous, Packed. but yeah. she's not focusing on you know letting everybody know that. Like we don't need to know. She's that, creating more jobs. Right. We don't need to know that somebody bought. Uh, you know, custom Lamborghini for somebody's 16th birthday. 
Like, right? not, not 2020, okay? Mofos, like, I'm, I'm one of those people looking for a $600 check. I'm honestly like, how am I going to pay my rent next week? Because I try mm. to take this week off of work for my own mental sanity. Yeah. I don't make a decision for myself. And so now I'm like, and I'm not saying that I need money or anything like that. I have savings, but I don't want to use my savings to pay my rent. Yeah. It, and it's just, it's, I'm, I'm not saying that I get upset or anything about Cardi B or the Kardashians, whatever the case may I don't get upset right. that they have. It's just, it's disheartening when you see them flaunt during a time and they already flaunt all the time. But in 2020, right. when people are dying, when people have, are, have a little more compassion, so to speak, this is an unprecedented time. You need to be showing, po- I don't care about your $88,000 purse. Like, yeah. And people arguing over if people who are flaunting Birkin bag- bags on social medias, if they're real or not. I don't give a shit. Or these, these pseudo celebrities having these huge birthday parties. And why does every 20- 20... Why does what? You, you froze. Hopefully you're still there. I don't know if you are. I hope you're still there. Okay, well, Marissa, something, something happened to her. She froze. If y'all can see the screen, you see that she's like not even moving. Um, but what we were talking about is like these celebrities, like I don't understand how they just kind of put all, put all this out there on front street. All the- hey, y'all, sorry for that interruption. Had Wi-Fi issues, but we're, we're back. Do you, Marissa, do you remember what you were talking about? I was talking for so effing long and I was thinking to myself, wow, ain't a person interrupt me in a minute. And I see your face like this frozen, like <laughs> attentively listening. And I'm like, I must be dropping jewels right now. I was like, wait a minute, he frozen. And you're frozen on my end. And I'm like, well, I'm going to keep talking. So I don't know what got recorded and what didn't. But uh, welcome to 2020 COVID. Um, we're talking about celebrities and flaunting flaunting and um that kind of thing i don't even remember exactly in conclusion i wish i look like these 20 year olds fighting on instagram over dumb stuff you see these pseudo celebrities (laughs) the way they look at 2022 why didn't i look like that back then you looked even younger exactly and you looked looked hot and popping i don't know about hot and popping no, you was you was good, Holmes. You was good. I don't know about all that. One thing I, I I you had mentioned and I wanted to before, you know, I don't want to end the show without, you know, I don't know I don't even know how long we've been recording at this point. Like it's ridiculous. Um but you had mentioned um you had mentioned with the, the shopping and stuff. I, I wanted to ask you, like so you got kids and they're in that age group where you know, Christmas is still something. I don't know if any of them still believe in Santa or, or anything like that, but Girl. talk about that and like the shopping and, you know, I'm okay. not saying that you're struggling like on a breadline or anything like that, but you know, money still is still money. You gotta make well, sure. Listen to this. So I'm very lucky or these kids is very lucky. You ask them what they want, so they gave you a list. I have a cousin gave them a list. They have a grandma alive. She gave them, he, they gave her a list. Um, Mrs. Claus, because they're nine and eight, um, forgot, and she about to drop them off somewhere so Mrs. Claus can go to the workshop today. Girl, I'm- No gifts? How is that even possible? I don't know. This is just 2020. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Did you not realize Christmas was so close or something? I I feel like I had an extra week. I, I, so this year, uh, my family moved Thanksgiving. Um, you know, we had a burial or whatever. So I did all my online shopping, my, my, (laughs) we had a burial or whatever, but thoughts and prayers. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. Um, I did a lot of like cyber shopping, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, all that stuff. So everyone else is done and I'm sitting here pretty like, wow. Oh, no. Mrs. Claus has nothing. So you're not going to be able to get that PS5, you know. 
ain't nobody getting no effing PS5. Do you know how broke I am right now? So I do Christmas with my little breadcrumbs over here. Um, so my boys are in this like really good sports uh, uh, baseball program. Mm -hmm. $400 each a month. You ain't then one of the... Then one of these motherfuckers spending that much on sports. Then one of these little motherfuckers decided to be blind. I had to buy glasses. Girl, so I had to get him his regular sports goggles, and then I got him a backup pair because I was like, "Listen, he's nine; he gonna lose them." But his prescription, <laughs> this mofo can't see, so his prescription's expensive, not the frames. So anyway, what was my question again? How am I doing oh, with you went on. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, how am I doing with Christmas and shopping? Girl, okay. it ain't going good. You'd be all right. <laughs> I think you could still pay for expedi expedited um, shipping. So I'm going to the mall. I'm going to figure something out over there. I might be crying in the middle of the mall today. I don't know. What about when it comes to COVID and family? you know, spending Christmas with family and stuff like that. Are you, are you going to try to be with family? Are you going to just, yeah. So I am, I'm going to be, I'm going to be with my mom's side. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be with my mom's side. They've all been quarantining anyway. Okay. Um, and then my, my husband, my, my boo side. Marissa's husband's side. Yeah. Marissa's husband's side. She's, uh, his family, they're kind of like doing, everybody's kind of doing it in their pockets and their little own thing. Everybody's kind of nervous to, I work in a Petri dish, you know, I'm out and about, I'm with students. So ain't nobody looking to be with me. But you, you, like, how do you, how, how do you go about saying like, yeah, no, nah, we're not gonna spend time with you this year. Or you just be like, all right, we'll, we'll be there. Like, how do you turn down? Well, everybody, as we were like t discussing a group text, it's like, um, I think on my, on Marissa's husband's side, my mother-in-law is with, with my sister-in-law. So had she been here, I think the conversation would a little bit different because she's kind of like the center for everyone because she's not here. Everybody's kind of like, eh, let's just do our own thing. We'll get right. together in the new year when things are a little bit more calm and settled. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think like for me, like back in the day, I used to I used to go, you know, make sure I visit different members, different homes, you know. Yeah. And you know, right now I'm visiting my mom. Like I said, she lives in a different state than me, and I'm just looking forward to just sitting on the couch, eating, yeah. cooking, watching yep. TV, nothing crazy. And it's on a Friday, so it's like it's you know you got the it's nice for Christmas to be on a Friday. Yeah. You know, Friday is going to feel like Saturday. And so your day, your week's going to go a little longer. Yeah. It's going to feel like Christmas. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and then, like I said before, just the gifts and everything. Like I bought all my gifts for my family and friends and, you know, my niece and nephew and all your kids and stuff like that. And it sucks because I don't even know, like your kids are at the age where like, I, they're in the age of where like, they not appreciating the fact that they're getting gifts. It's like expected. They I haven't know. hit that age yet where it's like, oh, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. Yeah. It's more like you, you supposed to think of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And my niece and nephew are at the age where, they're like, thank you for thinking of me, but they're not, they don't know how to vocalize that. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? But they didn't, they, they never, even, I'm not like in their life every day where they're expecting me. They're, they're waiting for a gift from their auntie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, and then when I think when, I don't think until you hit the age of like, when like you're in high school or beyond where you know how to fake being appreciating it. Whether that, you, you know what you know what's so not. funny no you know what's so funny i think you you it like like marissa and tamika like flash back to the 80s like we thought we was on and popping with the fake i think the adults knew and i'm getting to the point where like 
when am I going to be at that point where I know they're faking appreciation or like they don't even like that gift? Like, oh. But I think it's appreciation. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think like when your kid <laughs> hit 15, they're going to expect a gift from me. But they're going to do the fake like, oh, thank you so much. But I if I hadn't given them anything, they'd be like, in their back of their head, they would never come out and say, Tamika didn't even get me nothing. Then in the back of their head, though, they'd be like, damn, PT didn't get me none. You know what I mean? But they, they're going to be at an age where they can't vocalize that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man. And now I'm like, and I don't think that ever goes away because me sitting here in my 40s and I'm like, I expect gifts from certain people. Even if they're like, you know, it's going to be a light year and I don't, well, you know, where's my underwear? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Why like, socks so nice? A nice pair of undies and some beautiful socks, warm, cozy socks. Why is that? Don't that at 15. No, not at 15. Although my grandma, my, my Nana, she used to give us that and she'd put like a $20 in the socks. I remember that. That was like the greatest. Cause it's like, I got socks. I got money. <laughs> Let me go buy a CD. You know, I remember when you was it you who got gloves and there was money in each finger yep. or was that I remember yeah, that year I got that one year but so it's like I don't know Christmas is is weird and even though you know Corona's here and it makes you think of things differently um I think think some things sh should change but there's a lot of things that just really aren't <laughs> yeah know? yeah Exactly. Oh, celebrities not changing. What is that? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Right. But then you were talking about, you were just saying like, you're going to go um, shopping. And I know you weren't talking about this, but like the panic shopping, which is crazy. Um, I, you, we had talked about it. And then the panic shopping that is currently going on is not really Christmas. It's still because of Corona, people are nervous about supplies. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, uh, I don't know. I found this thing and I was reading in the, in the New York Post. Uh, let me share my screen. This is South Korea. <coughs> I uh, just read this. Isn't that crazy? I mean, ugh. And then I saw so the headline paper. reads, the headline reads for those listening, South Korea reports record COVID deaths as lockdown fears spark panic buying. And it's like, isn't that so true? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. It's, I, I saw this one thing too, where uh, you can see the woman. Uh, can you see the woman on your screen? Yeah, it's a woman it, with a with a trolley. There's a, I think that's a um, paper that's towels. A trolley. Yeah, that's what you call those. Oh, I all call right. them shopping carts. A trolley okay. to me is the thing you jump on and it takes you around the city. Okay. Well, I don't know. Am I wrong? I I, I could be wrong. You don't a call shopping, shopping cart. Carts? When I'm at Walmart, I do, because it says the thing, shopping carts. Um, uh, well, this picture is totally about something. Jolly, jolly, or what'd you call it? A jolly? A trolley. Trolley versus shopping cart. But anyway, continue. Yes. So she's pushing some shit that she puts her groceries in. She's got, I believe, paper towels and nothing but empty shelves all around her. And that, the, the picture that I'm sharing is is to, in my opinion 2020 in a nutshell because she's got the yeah. face mask on yeah and she's got like a look in her like what is she she's looking at empty shelves there's nothing there i'm sure this picture was staged of course yeah because she's looking into the abyss right and it's like there's nothing there and the shelves are so clean it's like brand new shelves yeah there's no labels yeah this ain't no retail shelves i'm shelves i'm used to <laughs> no and what's the name? Not even during the pandemic. Half of them were stained and gross. Right. They had all the like. Take this time grime. to clean them, please. Exactly. Had all this grime. But in a nutshell, that picture is definitely 2020. 2020. It's like the unknown, staring into the unknown, 
You got to face the unknown. Exactly. <sighs> we weren't going to talk about this. What, what did you, are you, are you give, have you given any thought to the vaccine? Like, are you eventually going to take it? Because I have like family members they, they, that are like, I ain't taking it. And then I was joking with my cousin and I was like, yeah, you ain't taking it until your job is like, you ain't got no job unless you take it, which I don't think they can do. And then I said, or, or you catch the Corona. And then she's like, shoot me up, shoot me up. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. They haven't given me all the information. They don't even, they can't even answer this question. You, you get two shots right. and then what? Is this forever? Do I have to take this every year like the flu shot? They still don't have all the information and until they have it, the I don't know. That, the thing that makes me laugh is that people that, and I'm one of them, I'm still on, I'm, like I'm gonna take it eventually, but it's like all the shit that I put in my body, do I know where they come? Like I eat McDonald's. Oh yeah. You know, I'll drink a Pepsi, you know? Yeah, I know. I've smoked, I know. Weed. I've smoked weed before. Yeah. Like there's a lot of shit that I've done. And then I'm I've had <laughs> sex, okay? My body is a temple. Right. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you've had IVF. Mm-hmm. You put a needle in your stomach. <laughs> and you, you're hoping that what the doctor yeah. told you it is, it is. It's a carcinogen too. And I'm like, I'll take cancer. I got to have these babies. But we're like, I don't know about that vaccine. <laughs> But I can tell you my, everyone's body reacts very differently with any medication and any medication I've ever taken has, which is why I'm not a medication taker, has not responded very well to it. Even though, yes, I did the in vitro stuff, the medication, I felt very, very sick, very bloated. Um, I gained a lot of weight. But you did um, Oh yeah, I still do. Cause, because Regardless of the side effects. Exactly. And knowing, knowing that I'm putting poison and carcinogens in my body, I did it because I was going to have these babies. But like, and you're right, it was no guarantee it, what you I knew, were going to get. And that's listen, just like the vaccine. Well, no. When it came to having babies, I knew this was just a step. I was going to have a baby. No, I don't so know how. What I mean is like, no, no, no. Guarantee. I didn't know if I would be successful with IVF. I just knew I was going to do all the steps. But like, think, I think about like with the flu. I've taken the flu shot twice in my life and I've gotten sick both times. Which you're um, supposed to. You know you're supposed to, right? Get the flu when you get the flu shot? Yeah, the flu shot is you're supposed to, they, they they're supposed to tell you that that you're you're probably going to get sick after that means it's working. No, I get the flu. The two yeah. times I've had the flu is when I had the flu shot. That's what I'm saying. It, it's like giving, unlike, unlike the coronavirus, it's putting the flu in your system to fight it off for future. But like you're, no, but you're not supposed to like be on like flu medication and sick okay. with the flu when you get the flu shot. Okay. So Wait, you, you get the flu, the full on flu and you're on the whole, that pack that I get, I get sick, but I don't, I don't, I've had the flu one time that I can remember. And that was in college back when I lived in North Carolina at Johnson C. Smith, I got the flu in it. And I, had, I hadn't gotten a flu shot for like probably 15 years later is the first time I ever got a flu shot when I moved back to New York. But I, every time that I get the flu shot, I get sick where I probably need like a day. But I don't think it's, I don't, like, I don't know how my body- No, I'm like, talking every, about the full on flu where I, I have I to like, go to my, the doctor and get medication. Like, like you were saying earlier, like everybody reacts differently. So I don't know yeah. if my reaction, my symptoms of the flu might be different from someone else. You know what I mean? Like I might have my version of the flu where I'm like, I'm laying in bed. I feel nauseous, and, but I never really completely throw up. And that yeah. might be my, my version of the flu. Your version might be, I'm laying on the kitchen, on the bathroom floor, crawling my way back to my bedroom. I don't know. Everybody. You're not supposed to get the full on flu when you get the flu shot. Okay. Got it. Got it. I can't, I can't imagine any, any, you're, wait, you're saying, hold on a second. You, you're saying that you get the full on flu when you get the full, flu shot? What I'm saying is that my version, I, I believe it's the flu. My, because every time that I've gone and gotten the flu shot, the doctor says to me, your arm's going to be sore and you might get the flu. 
because it's the flu. They're giving you the flu. So you got to have it in order to fight it. So that's what the shot is. You're getting the shot is the shot is, the shot is a micro take, dose to build antibodies. Yes, I understand that. They but say the some people have food? to take the whole day off just just so they can deal with because they're sick from the shot. It's weird. I don't know. But like I said, and like you said earlier, it's like everybody deals with the different, like when you had the IVF, you reacted a different way. Like your body didn't react how somebody else's body. Like I've taken, I haven't, I've taken the, the, the shots in order to um, hyperstimulate. Right. And so, and I bloated or whatever, but there might be somebody else who doesn't. So, you know, I don't know, but I, yeah. I know I put that poison in my body and it I resulted in me sitting in my mom's living room with no kids so there you go. But oh, it was my God. It. oh my god so when it comes to corona i'm like whatever just we gonna die anyway right <sighs> sure i'm hoping i make it let's hope i make it to may you know that's why I try to take it if I take it is May. I'm not gonna take it before that. It's gotta be out six months, in my opinion. Before I even, you know, and I don't care if black people taking it everywhere. They ain't they ain't this black person. They ain't this 46 year old black female. So I need to know how people are taking like a whole a, a big mix of people. And now they got the Moderna vi virus. I mean, um, their version of the right, and it, it, they said they they're, sent, they're sending six million um, initial, and they're like, yeah, this one is going to be for, you know, rural rural areas, um, nursing homes, and people that don't have access to the Pfizer. So I'm like, okay, wait a second. So is the Pfizer for the rich people? Moderna and, is for the not so rich. Right. Like, what are we talking about here? And I'm gonna be wearing a mask, like President Elect Biden says, for 100 days. I have no problem with wearing a mask. Like you go in a restaurant, they tell you put your shoes on. Like it's a mask. <laughs> like, give me a break. It's not. Like, it's not gonna affect anybody. And for real, like I, I'm liking the mask because number one, it's hiding my chapped lips. Number two, if I ate garlic, you don't smell it. Ain't that the best? And then if I, I see have anybody. I haven't had anybody spittle land on my lip in yeah, so yes. long. Yes. Uh, number three, <laughs> I don't gotta look at nobody else nasty grill. Mm -hmm. And number four, we in the winter and I'm warm. My face is warm. Yeah. You know, I had on two masks in the airport. I was feeling good. I was like, there's no, <laughs> you know, I'm walking. I don't, <laughs> so I, I, would, I wouldn't mind wearing a mask all the time when I went in stores, but I don't want to be the one person like, oh. So, you know, I. <laughs> There's already this enough one's still on. wearing a mask. Like she got hearing aids, she got a limp, and she got a mask on. Let's just move <laughs> <focus> on. <laughs> I don't need... So, anyhow, it's great. Exactly. All right, girl, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Yep, yeah, yes. It's it's time for Marissa's musings. Holler, holler. All right. <laughs> so the holidays are here i hear this is the time people usually take the opportunity to reflect on what they would like for the new year and how it went in the past <clears throat> i myself had an interesting year i quarantined like everyone else i panicked for the future just like everyone else and of course made no changes just like everyone else I've been asked what I want for Christmas a few times, and I can honestly say, I have no idea. I made it this far, that alone is a gift, but as with any human, I'll make a wish, 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 I will make a wish list. Is it better to be, ah, oh, my gosh. I see you blinking at me. Stop it. It's my own eye. Don't even look That's at me. That's something in my eye. 
<laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to say my, on my wish list is to be better, but be specific about it and hear me out. But with kindness, I want to be told how to be better. Cause while I think I'm fantastic, there's always room for improvement, but I need to hear with kindness and love how to be better. And that's on my wish list. Okay. Well, I can't give you that. Oh, no, I can give you that. You know how you can be better? Oh, God. Let me not, because it's about to be Christmas. No, go ahead. You started. You can't, can't do that. You know how you can be better? By giving at least 40% of yourself to this podcast. <laughs> Showing up, I, and showing up is not half the work, okay? <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, showing up is not half of it. That's part of it. All I ask is a good 40, good 40%. I'll take, I'll take the 60, I'll put the clips, I'll post it everywhere. I'm asking for 40. <laughs> uh, Be best. I love me. <laughs> <Be best. laughs> oh you heard you heard your president is rethinking about doing the apprentice who's gonna give him the show somebody will give him a show you know how much backlash if it's like nbc any of the major networks that's probably exactly what he's gonna do Damn, i i can't even think about him right now i wonder what homegirl's gonna do all I know is, is Mar-a-Lago is like, y'all can't live here. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> Could you imagine your HOA has to knock on your door and you're like, um, so I don't listen. care if you own this place. You can't live here. Can you imagine somebody tell you you can't live here? Well, yeah, I can because if you could, if you had an office, right? If you had a doctor's office, mm -hmm. the landlord could be like, "You can practice here, but you can't live here." Oh, see. Anyhow. Oh man. I wish you oh, Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to. <laughs> To you and your king. <laughs> and a happy new year. Where can they catch us? Wait, before they leave, what's your favorite Christmas song of all time? Oh, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Jose Feliciano. I want to, oh no, no. Feliz Navidad. Still Feliz, um, uh, Jose Feliciano. Okay. Nice. Mine no, is, it's the same I, song. Yeah, I think it's the same song, but it's the same song. I still like it. <laughs> don't listen. Don't nobody tell me how I could be better. I think I think I know. <laughs> well, mine is I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Really? Yeah. Huh. Because when I was a kid, I used to be like, wow. I never seen my mommy kissing Santa. You know, I, I still believe in Santa. Oh. So, like, how did that happen? How did you get to see Santa? Mm -hmm. And then the words are like, when you get old, you'd be like, damn, your mom's a hoe. <laughs> She's thinking that. <laughs> What's she doing? You keep a secret from your dad. That's how I got these gifts. That's how I got this Atari. <laughs> Like, I saw you kissing somebody, so, um, hmm. Oh, my Lord. Towing everything? Word? That's what that is? <laughs> I'm out here leaving cookies, and all you had to do was kiss a mofo? Anyway. Do you think, <laughs> do you think things like that have set up society for what it to be right now? What do you mean? Do you remember when camcorders first really became household items? <clears throat> How it was always just like pointed at family members to be silly. Yeah. And then it became a cultural thing where like dance, dance with a camera. And it's like this little girl being sexy or being this or being that. Right. Um, although I don't think kids can be sexy because they're kids. Um, 
and cut to um, phones with cameras. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like twerk it out and put it out. Do you think things like that have set up like, you know, there's, there's the whole, this is another show. Never mind. Yeah. Bef no, that's okay. You can, if you have something you want to say, but yeah. you should write it down. So you have a topic and it doesn't matter if I write it down because I do write it down and then I lost my place. I think well, my write down the name of the topic. Enough. You can put the topic in your phone. I don't think my prescription strong enough. Okay. Um, before we leave, I want to give a shout out to, uh, uh, BJ. Yes. For posting us on social media. Strong shout out. We, we appreciate it because we know people listen. DJ blends. DJ blends. We know people listen, but you know, it, it means a lot when, you know, somebody takes an extra minute to repost our, our podcast and whatever. So shout out yeah. to DJ blends. Holla, holla at your boy productions. He was on our show. Check out the black music month show. A couple years ago, he was on that episode. And uh, yeah, y'all, thank you. He was our first guest. First guest we ever had. Yep. Shout out to Blends. Holla at your Call boy. Me. Productions. Yes? Love you. Love you too. They can catch us at... You didn't ask me. I did. I did before, and then I went on a diet trap. Oh. Where can they catch us? Everywhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Yep Yeah Yes podcast on Facebook, Yep Yeah Yes 18 on Instagram and Twitter, and pretty much all your streaming devices. Um, I'm not going to say yes. the name of those devices because we have some in, in the room right now, but um, also make sure you download the full video on YouTube if you're not watching us currently. And uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The unions and uh, Feliz Navidad. <laughs> I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Wait, what day? Underneath the mistletoe of night. Bye, y'all. You know, somebody, somebody is listening, and they're like, "This shit should have ended twenty minutes ago." <laughs> Okay. All right, y'all. Music is life. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, now. <laughs>